SKS on the table. Oh my god, what's going on? Yes, this is going to be a uh, really cool, I hope so, for you. SKS uh, episode. And so what's happening? Numerous websites uh, like Classic Firearms, Atlantic Firearms, even Palmetto State Armory received the shippings of uh, the SKSs and uh, they were stored in the neutral countries for X amount of years and finally they are eligible for import to United States and uh, basically what's coming in is uh, the Chinese SKS is something similar to this. Now guys they selling them for around I have seen on different websites for around $450 so immediately I'm receiving a questions from you is it worth it uh, is that the good price to pay for the SKS and uh, what I think about the SKS. The SKS is not, I repeat, it is not your AK uh, rifle. It runs on a 7.62 by 39 cartridge. Some of them you can buy it with uh, the AK Max. I never had the good luck with those SKSs. I'll be brutally honest with you. Uh, the, the magazines were never feeding nicely to it. I think that the SKS the way how it was created uh, by the Soviets. And let me pull out that Tula, uh, Tula 1950, 1950, there you go, 1950, original Russian SKS. So you got that 10 rounds detachable uh, magazine, I mean detachable. Uh, you can open it and feed the rounds to it. It's not really detachable, but you can open it and uh, dump the rounds if you need to, uh, or load them with the stripper clip from the, clip from the top. Uh, and it works great. That magazine works great. Every time I have seen those uh, crazy conversions for the AK magazines, I don't know, at least I didn't have a good luck running them. I'm sure someone will say, hey, I have it and it runs perfectly fine. And that's okay. I'm just telling you uh, what my experiences were with uh, those uh, rifles. But going back to the price point, I will tell you 450 bucks for the SKS seems to be a norm right now uh, and even judging from what's happening at the gun shows here in Missouri uh, I will tell you that that's a rather good price online to pay you cannot find right now uh, SKS at the local gun shows below $600 usually they hovering around $650 uh, six, it depends. Uh, and the condition is, hey, so, so, but at least at the show you can see it. It's hard to see the condition, what you're receiving from uh, the dealer. But going back to the rifle alone, so we know how the prices are shaping like on the market. So as of right now, it is what it is. But going back to the rifle alone, I think that this rifle will deliver whatever you're going to throw at it it is going to work for you like an energizer uh, bunny. I really enjoy shooting SKS. Uh, it, it is naturally welds to your body uh, and uh, it's very easy to use those sights. If you are familiar with AK sights, it is exactly the same idea with the SKS. I think the, the SKS was uh, pushed into the service like 1944 or designed around 1944. Uh, so not that much of a difference, uh, but this all piggyback rides on the sides from the Mosin Nagan and uh, basically the same idea with uh, the type of the sides and you are adjusting them exactly the same as with uh, the AK. Now the, there is a common, I wouldn't say myth, but belief that the SKS is more accurate than the AK is. I'll tell you that much. You can take any SKS and, and I shot really many of them and without any sweat start bringing plates at uh, 300 uh, yards and maybe push it to 400 yards. That's true. And you gaining a little bit, not that much, you know, it's not really an accuracy because the accuracy, uh, they should stay, you basically measuring at the fixed distance and if we will settle for 100 yards, the accuracy of the SKS and the accuracy of uh, AK will be X MOA, right? It de depends on what you got. But where the SKS will give you a little bit more edge is that past 300 yards, uh, on average, four inches uh, long, a little bit over uh, four inches long barrel, and that gives you a more speed on that round. 
and the 762 by 39 can use any help uh, it can get to gain more speed uh, and that's why people I'm guessing seeing a little bit better performance at the extended ranges so I would say uh, it's not that much of the accuracy it's like you're getting a little bit better performance kick a boost from that longer barrel but it could be also with the ergonomics of the rifle as I said I really like it how how you going behind the SKS uh, and some people do have uh, issues with AKs and shooting with AKs especially if you got the magazine standing and extending and it's blocking you if you're using a front support or something I can see that happen uh, I will tell you that much from all the different SKSs I shot this rifle will usually push 7.62 by 39 to its limits. If you will do your job, the rifle will shoot and deliver. There is no question uh, in my mind. Uh, there are many different versions uh, on this table. I got two Chinese ones. This was the so this is so-called paratrooper. They were never issued to paratroopers like this. Uh, that was the export version with a cut shorter barrel and uh, our importers call that paratrooper to make it more sexy to sell it to you guys uh, but the, you got many many different versions from different car countries Yugoslavia former Yugoslavia Albania and you can hunt for them and to try to collect them all uh, it is really getting hard to find those original Russian ones but they are still there uh, and you can have tons of excitement just by collecting the rifles but if you talking purely about shooting and, and the, even you know tactical performance you can do with this rifle whatever you want of course the limitation as i talked about it before will be only a 10 rounds magazine so versus the ak you got the 30 rounds magazine absolutely the ak will hold the advantage uh, on that rounds uh, count but since this one shoots as we said, a little bit more accurate, a little bit, a little bit more accurate than the AK is. Maybe you don't need all 30 rounds <laughs> to destroy that target. So I would say that much. Highly recommended uh, to get the SKS. If you're coming up to the SKS game right now, you're a little bit late, but it's better be late than never, right? So uh, if you can snatch at them online uh, and uh, get the example, get it. Everyone should have SKS. Uh, really, everyone should have SKS in their uh, possession because they are beautiful rifles, tons of history, and I, I can promise you, you're going to have a tons of fun and uh, absolutely a blast to shoot with. They are really good with the kids too because the recoil is not really uh, as feelable like some people may feel it with the AK. This is sturdy construction of the stock. You got that longer barrel, so it's more gentle. A lot of people like that. So that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. As always, thank you for watching our videos. I'll be checking the comments for the next uh, 24 hours and try to answer to as many questions as I can. See you in the next video. Bye.